A lot has happened in the past couple of weeks. Let me fill you in on what's going on. I'm filming this on April 21st, but as of two days ago, April 19th, I am now full-time traveling out of the toaster. I realize this is a huge time jump from my last videos, but don't worry, I'll be making videos on how I got to this point and everything that went into the build. So it's gonna fit right here. It's just the past few weeks have been so hectic that I haven't had time to edit. Unfortunately, it might be a little bit until those videos come out as I'm still getting settled in and figuring everything out. Where's the end? Here's the end, okay. Anyways, let me show off the toaster. Sorry, I took the chance to take a shower while I had it. So that's why I'm in different clothes and my hair is all wet. But this is the overhead cubby, as I call it. We used a simple latch system for the cover. And this makes a great spot to store my cooking, toiletry, and medications. The door does not stop things from shifting though. Stuff keeps falling out every time I open it. But a lot of this is extra anyway. I may in the future build additional partitions but when it's closed, this overhead cubby is beautiful. Ignore the mess, but then we have the bed. This bed does open up. And this is where I can keep all of my clothes. After the bed, we have the attic system, which is a bungee net that I've reinforced and then a clothes hanger bar. And this is where I keep most of my camping gear, jackets, things like that. We have a back seat storage for my electronics, and then also a cooler that hopefully one day turns into a mini fridge. A laundry bag, then also just storage for regular things. This side cubby holds all of my miscellaneous items, and then it's underneath a folding desk. We also have storage underneath, and that's where all of my emergency supplies go. All of this amazing wood furniture was done by Grit and Nails, a local custom woodworker based out of Central North Carolina, and it's been amazing. If you have any custom furniture needs or a vehicle you want built out, give him a call. I'll leave his Instagram in the description. Moving on to the roof. This roof rack system was made possible because of Brian from AVA. I can store my kayak and my paddle up here along with a ton of other gear. There's also a secure roof box installed with the help of Pete from the River Kings to store my more valuable kayaking gear. This is what I have so far, and there's still so much work to be done. I gotta do privacy cutouts or curtains or something for all the windows, and I still don't have electrical either. I also have to clear coat everything, which is a process that takes 10 days, and I didn't know about that. So at some point, all of this furniture will need to come out and get clear coated, and I will have nothing for 10 days. But once that's done, I think I'm finally complete for now. The thing about a vehicle build is it's always a work in process. Everything is trial and error and you're never really done. Nothing is ever really perfect. If, could we put spacers on it? I mean, we could build at the bottom so it's... Cause that's only gonna bring it here. The cost for the interior was about 400 for all the materials and everything. And for the roof rack, I think I paid about 200, 250 maybe for everything. So total cost comes out to what? Like. 700 800 ish now keep in mind a lot of this stuff was secondhand a lot of it was gained from marketplace or otherwise sourced from connections that i've made over the years some of this stuff was given to me by supporters of the channel and because of that i was able to get away with a little less than i think what you would pay if you were to replicate this build exactly special thanks does have to go to chris with grit and nails kate and grant brian with ava and Pete with the River Kings. Yeah, woohoo! All of their channels are linked in the description and it's thanks to people like them and like you watching this that make this dream a possibility. Like I said, there will be a delay in future videos as I get settled in and caught up and really 
figure all of this out. But make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. I'll bring more content soon. How do I get down from here?